Alrighty, so I've got an experiment I'd like to try today. Here I've got two mud bricks and one made from some ash. And basically I'm just gonna stick them in the forge and try and super bake them more than they already are. Now all these have been baked before except for the ash brick. It's uh, just air dried. Um, and these two, they've, they haven't been baked at any extreme temperatures, just been stuck in a campfire. Uh, so, yeah, we're going to stick them in the forge and uh, see how hot we can get them and see what happens. Who knows, maybe we'll get a few to blow up. put in the first mud brick but uh, I broke it so I guess this will just be our test piece for now exciting as I thought it would be. Well, I don't know. There might be something on the surface there. Kind of a glaze to it. Obviously some of the uh, clinker or coal slag in there stuck to it. So I don't know if it's that, but That'd be kind of cool if the outside started melting and making a little bit of a glaze. Huh. Okay, now we're gonna try the ash brick and see what happens. I mean, I don't know really what to expect. It's already been burned, so... I don't know, this is for experimental purposes. Because it burned up any of the little bits of charcoal in there, or other impurities, I guess. Huh. That's kind of cool. Okay, now we're gonna put in the very last potato, and uh, yeah, I think this one's got a lot of silt in it. Uh, so I'm not really sure what that's gonna turn out like, but we'll find out, I guess. I think we did glaze it in some spots. Yeah. Huh. I don't know, maybe we melted it. Alrighty. So they've all cooled. And uh, I did try to get some of the slag off and I did end up breaking this one as well. 
the white ash brick. It's got a lot of cracks. Probably gonna break it if I'm not careful. Uh, got pretty white. Um, earlier it was just kind of a light gray. Now it's white. And I think we basically just burned off any um, any like charcoal in there or anything. Alrighty, so I got a bucket of water here. We're gonna stick our bricks in there, pieces of bricks, and uh, see if they dissolve or what happens. Ooh, bubbling a bit. Also, I'm wondering if, like, uh, how much they're going to absorb the water. Alrighty, so these have been sitting overnight. Let's see what they look like. Ooh, the ash brick. Looks like there may be some disintegration there. Let's see how the mud brick is first. I think it would help if these didn't break and they had that glaze all over them. It probably help uh, keep them together a lot better. At least for these mud bricks. I'm seeing all these little flakes around it, like they've come off, so I don't know. <laughs> it's kind of soft. Yeah, in some spots, some of this stuff's flaking off. This outer coating. Hmm. Let them sit out and dry and see how they turn out. Alrighty, so it's been about 48 hours later after letting them dry in the sun. And uh, not, not much has happened, at least for the uh, mud bricks. They're just dry now. Not much deterioration or anything. And then our ash brick it does appear to have cracked a little bit, little cracks all over in there. Uh, some of it's starting to come off a little bit, but oh, okay. Uh, it's kind of, kind of like plaster. So yeah, that's our uh, results. Uh, I think for our mud bricks. Uh, if I were to do this again, I would do it in a charcoal fire, just so we're not getting all that coal slag all over them, and so we could really tell that uh, the outside of this, these mud bricks were glazing. Uh, but yeah, interesting results. Well, uh, thanks for watching. If you enjoy this content, consider subscribing.